my lovelies welcome back um skincare update for you um this is the skin situation at the moment um my forehead is playing up it's quite dry and flaky with a bit of rosacea um the cheeks a little bit flushed um it's just been a stressful few weeks probably the last two three weeks have been really stressful um obviously craig and myself haven't been very well and then betty we've had sort of issue after issue after issue with betty she's okay but of course it's such a worry and yeah it, i just can't rest if betty's unwell i just don't sort of relax and rest and you worry and every little you know you see something different and you panic and think oh gosh is there going to be another problem so it's been really really stressful and i've sort of washed my face put a little bit of skincare on but i've not really been prolific on the skincare front um i've not obsessed about it i've not done the layers that kind of thing so i would say i've probably neglected my skin a bit but betty has been the priority but there are products that i reach for regularly um it is a repeat of probably what you've seen for the last few months but i know a lot of you still want to know and see what's happening and I think if you're seeing a reoccurrence of products, it stands by how good they are and how beneficial I find them. I can't say that you would have the same results or you would feel the same. Um, I would never say that somebody else with rosacea is exactly the same as me. Um, there are products that work for me that don't work for other people. Um, I still use the Rosex um, gel occasionally when i need it but it's not been regular in my routine as it used to be i do find out of everything that the one thing that really makes a difference especially with my forehead is the vichy aquilea thermal serum i tend to put a layer on and i leave it for a little bit and then i put another layer on and it makes such a huge difference the flakiness goes the skin just feels cooler gentler more eased more softened um i love it i've been using this quite some time um and it's one of those that i love and i tend to buy two or three when they're on offer um because i just can't be without them um there is another there's a mineral 75 that they do and i did try that i didn't get the results that i get with this so i really love to use this so i'm just going to put i'm going to put a couple of pumps and just work that into this oh it's just lovely it's cool anyway it's such a sort of cooling product um i think the word serum is a little bit misleading because it is sort of quite watery it's like a milky toner almost but it's not one that's going to run off your face before you can get there and i work it everywhere so under the eye area um just anywhere and everywhere but it does make such a huge difference um particularly when i do have these raised areas and dry patches and it absorbs really quickly and i do like a bit of glow you know that i like something that leaves a dewy finish but this this is just so fabulous and because i can see it working and feel it working very quickly i kind of allow the fact that it's not one that's going to leave my skin dewy but essential this is something that i always have a spare two spares three spares of and for me it really is a godsend i am trying something new this was pr um this um it's a new brand to me neuro skin feeds um i believe it's spanish actually this is the micro oil intense rejuvenation um and it has solar protection so it does have, it does have ingredients that will protect the skin against uva uvb now it doesn't have any stars any markings so i would always say that even if something says it's got that protection i would always say also have a separate spf where you have the stated spf 50 this just gives you you know a little protection 
Um, it's also very good for sensitised skin, which is why I said yes to it. Because you know I do say no to most things now because there's no point in me putting them on my face. But I said yes to this aid because obviously it's an oil and I love oils. But mainly because it's very good for compromised sensitised skin. Um, and it has calming properties, very hydrating, nourishing, early, early, early days. But it smells like baby powder, which I found instantly very comforting. It's a runnier oil than you'd expect. And you only need one drop. It really, really works a large area. And now I've got a large head. Um, so one drop, it's... It is a beautiful, very relaxing scent, which I think aids how good it feels. And this, you kind of feel it oozing, you know, into your skin, you feel it. But it does leave a dewiness, which I like. But exceptionally early days. It will be a few months before you see this, maybe before Christmas, maybe after. But I am popping this over the top when I have used my Vichy serum. And I'm just going to put another drop of the Vichy on now. My second coat. Working a lot on my forehead. So, yes, the micro oil, very good for aiding and healing the skin's barrier, which is essential if you have issues like myself with rosacea normally i would be using the skin barrier restoring oil from a florence but because i've got this i'm using this currently but i mean this has obviously been a huge favorite and i do have a spare of this as well it's one of those i don't like to be without um along with the vichy so that's on and already my forehead is just so much better it's just so so much better so just leaving that to absorb. Um, Moisturiser, I am using the Skin Rehab Rich from A Florence Skincare. I love the e.l.f. as you know, but my skin was kind of telling me I needed something a little bit more. And for me, this is more, um, you can get it in a tube, which I love, but I was tempted to get the jar because I am dreadful and I do like scooping a finger in a jar of cream, unhygienically, of course. Um, but yes, this is very good and again, a really great product for compromised skin. If I am going out, which is exceptionally rare, <laughs> we did actually manage to go out um, recently. I do still put my SPF on and I'm nearly at the end of my SPF 50 Prevage. I do try and use everything up because you can't save them for next year. They lose their power. Don't use an SPF from the previous year. There's no point. You're going to get burnt. You're going to damage your skin. So I like to get every bit out of it. So I am still whacking SPF on, even if I'm not doing anything else. But I know I'm going to go out, even for a walk with Betty. You know, this goes on. So nearly at the end of this. It's surprising. If I roll it down and squeeze it and then press the pump, a lot still comes out. So SPF, and I do use SPF all year round please don't think oh it's october it's november there's no sunshine there's still uv and even on a cloudy day you can get uv rays you can still burn your skin you can still damage your skin so i do use spf all year round right i'm going to put a little bit of the oil on only one drop as i say so this is i mean it's a huge huge bottle really um a 50 ml bottle when all you need is one drop I'm just going to put one drop in the palm of my hand. Normally I would just sort of whack that over my face, but I'm just going to take this. Oh, and the smell. And you'll be able to see. You'll be able to see the sort of glow and the sheen as I'm working it and pressing it. I must confess that sometimes I am a bit naughty and I am a bit indulgent and I will go for the two drops just purely for the pleasure of just feeling it oozing in my fingers. But it smells wonderful, which I think sort of helps sometimes when you're using skincare. I think if you have that lovely comforting scent and it has a memory, 
I think you sort of almost look at things slightly differently and immediately this was sort of bath night on a Sunday smell with you know the Johnson's baby powder kind of thing but there will be more to come on that and I will blog about it I have written a little introduction on my blog but I will I will do a full review um, on that one right last but not least some of the cream going on I do have spatulas um, that are more ideal to use really if you're going to use a face cream however I haven't got my spatula there and I'm going to do this is what my mum used to do I can remember with oil of it was called oil of Ule years ago and then they changed it to oil of Ole and I, I can see her now stood in the bathroom mirror with the pink lotion and she just put dots everywhere all over her face and it fascinated me um, but yes I'm not sure why did they change it to oil of ole something to do with the branding the makers somebody might know but yes oil of ule and my dad rather naughtily nicknamed it oil of ugly oh your mother's putting her oil of ugly on but the dotting is something that is just so deep in my memory um it always makes me smile when i do it i can see her doing it and this is such a lovely cream it feels rich but when it's on the skin it absorbs nicely it doesn't feel too claggy and the odd thing is when you have compromised skin and you have the scaly patches you kind of want that comfort you want that thickness of a cream but the last thing you want is to feel really sort of heavy with the products because that can often make you feel even more sort of suffocated with your skin this is just the perfect blend of a rich cream doing the job but without that heaviness the creams of years ago where you know you'd see ladies with that night cream on and they'd put it all over their face but they still have that sort of white heaviness to it um you know I love a front skincare. I think I think I'm into my third or fourth year, and I would still say that this I probably buy more products from a France than any other brand, and I would definitely say that for the third or fourth year running, this is still my favourite brand for skincare. Right, lovelies, that's my skincare update. I hope you're all well, and I will be back with more offerings later. Thanks for joining me, everyone. Bye for now.